Number one is to hit B, which is going to bring up your blade tool and you can hover over your video and select wherever you'd like to make a cut. To make this even quicker, if you hit Command B, it is automatically going to cut for you wherever your playhead is. Using Command B like this is going to make a cut on the layer you have selected, but if you wanna make a cut on all the layers on top of your playhead, you can do Shift Command B and that is going to make cuts on every single layer where your playhead is at. You gotta just press record. Number two is to hit A, which is going to bring up your selector tool. And from there, you can select the clips that you want to delete and you can go ahead and delete those. Number three is to hit L. This is going to start your footage. And when you hit it again, it's gonna play back your video even faster. This makes it a lot easier to watch back your videos at a faster speed in order for you to save time when editing. Freeze frames can be really cool to add to your videos and it's really easy in Final Cut Pro 10. All you have to do is hover over the spot where you want it to freeze. You We'll select your clip and hit option F. This is going to add in a freeze frame. You can drag it to the left to make it shorter. You can drag it to the right to make it longer. And when you watch it back, your freeze frame is going to happen. And then the rest of the video is going to continue on once the freeze frame is over. When making precise cuts in Final Cut Pro 10, you want to zoom into your timeline so you can see everything going on. Usually what you do is you go over here, you click this button, and then you can zoom in like this. But a much quicker way to do this is by hitting command plus, and this is going to zoom into your timeline and then hitting command minus is going to zoom out of your timeline. I use this tool all the time to zoom in and refine my cuts and zooming in really just makes it a whole lot easier. Right here we can see that our audio is pretty quiet but if you want to make your audio louder at a certain point or quieter at a certain point all you need to do is hit R and this is going to pull up the range selector. This is going to work on an audio or video clip you just need to select a piece that you want to be quieter or louder and from here once that's selected all you got to do is drag up on that audio making it louder or you can make it softer. You can then drag these keyframes out a bit longer for a smoother transition to the louder part of the song. Next up is shortcuts for copy, cut, and paste. I use these all the time, so knowing the shortcuts really comes in handy. To copy, you just need to hit Command C. If you want to cut, you can hit Command X. To paste the clip, you can hit Command V, or if you want to paste the attributes like the effects, the color grade, you can hit Command Option V, and that is going to add everything from your clip to this next clip. But let's say you wanna add everything but the crop. What you can do is hit Shift Command V, and this is going to paste your attributes from here, you can select what you want to copy over to the next clip or not. So I want to add in all these effects, my entire color grade, but I don't want to add in my crop. I'll select that so it is not selected anymore. I'll go ahead, I'll hit paste. Now my color grade has copied over to this clip without adding a crop. Now let's say you've copied and pasted all your effects onto all your clips in your video, but now you're going through and you want to change something. Instead of going through clip by clip and deleting something like an EQ, what you can do is select all the clips and now you're gonna hit Shift Command X and now you can remove attributes. And so I'm gonna select the EQ, get rid of that. I'm gonna hit remove and now that clip does not have the EQ added onto it. These tools definitely work best in bulk when you are selecting multiple clips and adding and subtracting attributes from them. Now for this next one, I use this every single time I edit a YouTube video. When I'm ready to start editing the audio, I go up here and before I actually start messing with the EQ, I put the clip that I want to edit on a loop. All you have to do is hit the forward slash and if your playback is set to loop, which you can change that in your settings, then it is going to loop once it reaches the end of the clip. Every time you color grade, you really should be looking at your scope. So hitting command seven is going to pull that up and then hitting command seven again is going to get rid of it. When trimming a clip, you could hit B and then hit A again, select the clip you want to delete, and that is going to trim it off, but there's actually a faster way to do it. If you know this is the end of your clip and you want the rest of it to be gone, you can hit Option, close bracket, and that is going to automatically delete the rest of the clip for you. Holding down Option and hitting Open bracket is going to do the same thing on the other end, trimming the beginning of the clip. If you temporarily want to disable something on your edit, you can hit V and that will remove it with 
without deleting it. And you can do the same thing with an audio file so you can watch it back without the audio, without deleting your audio, and then hitting V again is going to bring those assets right back. If you wanna just listen to an audio track, instead of disabling all the sound effects and audio in the video, what you can do is select the video or audio track that you wanna to listen to and hit option S on your keyboard and option S to bring it back. And you can do this with multiple clips. So if we wanted to select both of these clips and hit option S, that is going to disable everything else and solo out just these tracks so we can listen to these only. Have you ever done something you did not want to do and you wanted to go back, like delete your entire project? Well, you just have to hit command Z and that is going to bring it right back. Now, if you want to redo what you did instead of undoing, you can hit shift command Z and that is going to redo what you just did. Click on the screen to watch another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next video.